Dr. Kelvin is going to be sharing with us a very important topic and a very important insight into why our perceptions and the perspectives that we see things count so much and matter in the overall goal to be able to achieve whatever we set out to do. Building a formidable livelihood. Now we need to understand what these words mean. Formidable livelihood. What does it actually mean? You see, because and the first point I'm going to make this morning is that in life, in life, your definitions determine who you are and where you are going. Your definitions, how you define things. You know, there's a way that the world defines things. There's a way that um, your mother defines things. There's a way your father defines things. There's a way your boss defines things. And there's a way you define things. How do you see things for yourself? How you see these things, how you define these things will determine your action, will determine your activity, will determine the outcome that you're going to get for yourself. And so you need to sit down and decide for yourself what does it mean, what does a formidable livelihood mean. But if, if you go to the dictionary, the, the formidable simply means an extremely something that's extremely impressive. So formidable strength, formidable building, formidable um, person. Thing. It just means that whatever it says, that attribute that you are looking at is extremely impressive. That's what formidable means. And livelihood basically means that, I mean, some, if I, something that gives you money to survive. That's all a livelihood is. It gives you income to survive on. So when you put them together, formidable livelihood, we are talking about an, an extremely impressive source of income that gives you the money you need to survive. And so basically we are talking about success here. I mean, what, that, what do you need to do to become successful in whatever industry, whatever field that you have chosen to stay in? And success is a universal concept, it's a universal principle. Success does not care whether you are a man or you are a woman. It does not care whether you are a child or you are an adult. Success tri thrives on principles. And if you follow these principles, you are going to get the desired outcome. And the interesting thing is that because many of us have not defined what we want to do, what we want, or we have not defined where we are going, and so we are just banging our heads all over the place trying to make ends meet. And that is the primary problem that we face. Many of us are not brought up to define our goals. We are not brought up to Tell to, to to have a destination in mind. And so we wake up every morning, we, we begin our journey, we are grinding, we wake up, we go to work, you know, we stay in traffic, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of chaos, we manage to arrive at work, we sit at work, there's no motivation, there's no desire, we're just there because we need to we need to put food on the table, we need to we, we need to earn an income. And so we are just sitting at the office, just you know, going through the motions, and then we close from work and then you sit back in traffic and get back home. But if you actually look deep within yourself, you realize that you are not happy. It's like you don't know where you are going. And this is because we have not actually sat down to decide, to determine for ourselves what we want out of the things that we are doing every single day. And so we have no time to plan for the next year. We have no time to think about what we are going to do when we graduate. Of course, we go and look for a job, but what, what kind of job we are looking for, we don't really care because, hey, we need money. So once we graduate, any job that comes out, we are jumping into, we are diving straight into it. And if you do not have a destination in mind, and this, this is the second point, if you do not have a destination in mind, your speed is useless. It's kind of like you woke up in the morning and you said you, 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 you live in Kumasi, I want to get out of Kumasi and go where? There are so many destinations out of Kumasi. And so if you just get up and decide that I'm leaving Kumasi and you sit in your car or you board a, 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 a public transport and the car is speeding 100 kilometers an hour, 200 kilometers an hour, you are speeding to where? We don't know. You don't know where you are going. Do you know that? I mean, how do you know that you are going to get there too far, too early or too late? If, because you don't have a destination, you have not set a time. You have not set a target. So you cannot even regulate your speed. And so basically, if you don't have a destination, how do you regulate how fast you are going? How do you regulate the time you want to get there? Unfortunately, many of us don't do this. And so we are just going around all over the place. And it's a big, big problem. Many of us are going through life without any form of planning. We are living our lives on the wing. We are living on our lives on anything goes. Whatever comes my way, I'll work with it. Because of all these things, we do not really have a plan for ourselves, for our future. And it's a big, big, big issue. You know, 
if you do not have a plan, how do you know when you have actually achieved your target? How do you know whether your ta- your, you are not going to achieve your target? How do you know when you are supposed to up your game? How do you know when you are supposed to diversify? How do you know when you are supposed to grab this opportunity or that opportunity and all of that? Many of us are not doing these things, and so we, our life is all it's a it's a mumbo jumbo of everything that's going on. We we jump into businesses that we we shouldn't be jump, jumping into. We leave business that we shouldn't be leaving. You know, we, we, we jump into relationships that we shouldn't be jumping into. We get out of relationships that we actually need to keep because we do not know where we are going. And so before you can build a formidable life, before you can build a, a successful life, you need to know where you are going. You need to understand what your purpose is. You need to understand why you are here on this earth. You need to know all of these things so that you can put it together and then move. When you start moving, the momentum will carry you through. It's because many of us don't have this done, that's why we don't seem to know where we are going. And so spend time, spend time, and this is the point number three, I mean, I, I, I mean this is the point number three, spend time to get to know yourself, spend time to understand yourself, and then see where you want to get to. You need to invest time into planning for your future, for your life, so that you understand where you are going. And once you know where you are going, the rest will fall in line. Because once you get to your gate of destiny, your helper will come your way. But until you get to that gate of destiny, then the your helper may be waiting, but because you are not there yet, and you're not there yet because you don't even know where that gate is, and you don't know where that gate is because you don't know yourself well enough. And this is very, very important. So you need to spend time, invest time in getting to know yourself, where you are going, your purpose. Many of us start business because we want to make money. Making money is not a good enough reason to start a business because guess what? You don't actually need to start a business to make money. You can do a lot of other things. I mean, there's 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 a lot of negative vices you can probably start to make money. So if you just focus on making money, or if you, if your main focus for starting a business is to make money, you're going to struggle. Because guess what? It takes money to actually make money. And so if your focus is to make money and you don't have money to start a business, you're going to struggle. But if you're starting a business for the purpose of making impact, now I'm speaking generally because I mean I I, I can't get I can't see you face to face to give to be specific. But generally, if you're the aim of you starting a business to make impact, social impact, take people out of poverty, move them here, help these, these people, take people off the street, give them a decent life. These are these are um, um, aims that are valid enough. And you see, once your reason for starting a business is valid, people will start identifying you and coming to support you. Once your cause is genuine, once your cause is right, there are people out there looking for people just like you. But if the only reason why I started a business is to make money, you are going to struggle and that business will probably never take off. And so that is why you need to understand where you are going, find your purpose, and then plug it into a system so that you can then become fruitful. We have to be the light. We have to wake up and prosper because nobody is going to come and do it for us. We have to do it for ourselves. Anybody coming in today is coming in to make profit and go. If you don't recognize this and see that they are coming here because there are good things here, then there's a problem. Yes, I know there's no money, but hey, if you have the vision, if you are committed, if you know your purpose, if you know where you are going, I'm telling you that your resources will find you. Your helper will meet you at the gate of your destiny. And so your job is to identify your destiny, find that destiny, and begin to chart a course towards that destiny. There's a wealth of information out there already. And so oh, if, if you are going to start something today, I can assure you that somebody has already done it before or has done a version of it before. Your job is to research and find out how they did it, what did they do right, what did they do wrong, how can I improve on them on their process so that I can skip some of the steps. Because if somebody was, if somebody entered sachet water business and it took that person five years to break even, it is unacceptable for you to also start a sachet water business today and it takes you the same five years to break even. Then it means that you have not improved the system in any way. If you go through and you make the same mistakes that were made 10 years ago, then why are you even starting that business? Why are you even getting into that thing that you're getting into? You shouldn't be making mistakes, certain mistakes today. Here's the thing. Everybody has a skill that is unique to them. I mean, some people are good with numbers. Some people are good with instruments. Sometimes, I mean, there are people who just sit behind the piano and they start playing and they themselves maybe know how they, how they know how to play um, the piano. Obviously, it tells you that you have something in you that is driving you towards that thing. There are some of you who actually love to sing. I mean, when you are singing, you yourself, you are at peace. 
when you start singing, you yourself, you're like your soul is at peace. And people around you listen to you singing and they themselves can feel like they, they feel a connection. There's an emotional connection. You, you move people with your singing. It tells you that there's some, you, you're supposed to be doing something in line with the, with the singing. There are some of you, when you sit in class and you are discussing theoretical physics, you know, uh, quantum and, 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 and all the quarks and leper, all, all, those, all those things, you understand it. Everybody else is confused, but you are flowing. You understand this. In fact, you can understand it better than the, than the lecturer who is teaching. It tells you that there's something in there for you. You understand? There are some people who feel at home in the chaos at Makola. When I go to Makola, I can't wait to get out of there because it's like I can't function. I mean, too much noise, too much movement, pushing here and there. But there are some people, when they enter Makola, they, they, they flow. You know, they, they, they understand. They're able to haggle. They're able to negotiate. They're able to bargain and get the best deals. It tells you that, they, that you should be doing something along that line. But because of survival, because you are, because, uh, you, you are being forced or you are forced to go to, the, to, to school to become a nurse, you have pushed, yes, you have pushed that side of you down so that you can focus on your nursing career. And come and, and, and come out with and get a salary at the end of the day. And you see, skill and talent, it it wins over time. You know what you are good at. You can tell me what you are good at. It is left for you to develop what you are good at and become fruitful in that place, so that you can then begin to multiply and then fill the earth and then you know subdue it and have dominion. So it begins with you knowing yourself and knowing what you are good at. Yes, and so uh, before we leave, I'll let Dr. Kelvin give us his last words, and then we'll just sign off. Dr. Kelvin, your last words, then we'll sign off. Well, well, my last word would be know yourself, know where you're going, and then blaze the trail.